Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all my contact information, including my email and social media links, along with links to my new music in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Capricorn at the Foundation? Oh, right out. Nine of Cups, Pisces Energy at the Foundation. Okay, this is all related to material abundance. This ha is uh, an energy of wishes coming true. And being at the foundation, I feel like this could have something to do with your stability. Quite possibly a move. Maybe some of you guys are buying a house. Something like this. But let's keep going and see. All right, what do we have at the sacral, please? What do we have at the sacral for Cap? Six of Wands, Leo energy at the sacral. Okay, this is all related to uh, victory. This is um, good news, success. And I feel like this has something to do... Uh, well, your sacral is all related to your creativity. It's your prosperity. Um, it's, your, it's your joy. Stuff like this, right? But it's something you've been spending your time on because it also has to do with patience. It's a patient kind of energy that comes from your sacral. So something creative is bringing you some sort of stability at your foundation. Okay, what do we have at the solar plexus? And this could be future energy as well coming towards you. So if you are in this energy of creation, you are creating something, this, en this uh, energy I'm reading here just might be clarification that you're on the right track. Okay, let's keep going here. Justice, Libra energy at the solar plexus. So the way I'm reading this justice there at the solar plexus, your solar plexus is how you come into the world. It's the placement of Aries and Scorpio. So Aries being the I am. It's like the energy of like kicking the door in, right? You're like, I am Cappy. And then the energy of Scorpio is all about transformation, the eighth house of transformation. This could be egoic patterns in your life that no longer suit you anymore moving forward that allow you to ascend. Or it could be people, it could be places, things, things like this. But with this justice energy here, whatever you've been working on is allowing for this transformation, like how people are going to be perceiving you from this point forward, and even you perceiving yourself is going to be something completely, it's just going to be a whole new cappy. Um, this is something you've been working very hard on. It's like a win-win situation is what I'm feeling here. Okay, what do we have at the heart? Heart position. Knight of Swords. That like flipped around in my deck. That was so strange. I don't think that picked up. Knight of Swords at the heart. So this is um, uh, this is an energy of like deliberate cruelty right there at the heart. So your heart chakra is all related to um, your empathy. It's all re it's like a it's all related to your trust. It's like emotional balance, serenity, stuff like this. But I feel like there's some sort of energy coming through that's trying to sabotage this for you. It could be an energy of um, criticism from somebody close to you that's trying to unbalance your heart chakra. So when your heart chakra is unbalanced, it's a very lonely energy you enter into. It's a cold-hearted energy. It's an energy of... Um, it's a very critical energy. So I feel like that's what they're coming at you with. So just be careful. There's a bit of a message here just to... Don't tolerate any sort of energies like this. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even allow these energies an audience to be able to project this kind of energy onto you. Okay? So while you're trying to birth through this manifestation that you're working on here, maybe just keep to yourself until this comes through. This is a very very powerful position and it's very smart to do that. Right? It's it means you understand how energy works and you know that even though you may say to yourself, there's nothing that anybody could say or do to me right now to stop this from coming through. And even though that might be true, Cappy, you'd be surprised at how just a few words that somebody throws at you stick to you like glue. 
and you can't get them out of your head. And then they just start planting little seeds in your mind, and then all of a sudden, boom. Goodbye, Six of Wands at the Sacral, right? It's a very... um. It's a very toxic energy, so be aware of this, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So we have Pisces, Leo, Libra, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with this Knight of Swords at the heart. Okay, what do we have at the throat position, please? Throat position. Ace of Pentacles at the throat. Okay. So this is all related to some new money, okay? It's some it's something you've been investing in. But whatever's coming through here, this is coming through from the divine. The divine is going to bless you with something. And I feel like it's going to be some sort of financial leg up that allows you to pull this through without any distraction. A lot of the times we'll be working on these creative endeavors and I feel it in this energy here and we'll be we'll be on the track and we're like, well, I need this amount of money to, to pull through this part of this create creative endeavor, you know, or whatever it is, like you need a piece of equipment, and then it just shows up, right? And this is the type of energy I'm getting here. It's like you may be in this space where you're like, well, how am I going to get this part of this done? Cappy, just keep going. Keep going and have faith and keep your energy clear and your auric field, otherwise known as keeping people away from you, clear and the divine will be able to come through and bless you and assist you. If you're entertaining these other energies, the divine will be like, well, I guess they're just not that serious about it. So, you know, that's what they're projecting out to the universe. So then I guess that's how they want me to feel about it, right? It really is. That's how manifesting works. It's just whatever you put out there, you're going to get back. So really, the universe is just mirroring back to you what you're putting out there. And this is the same with karma, right? Karma is exactly the same. Karma and manifestation really are the same thing when you think about it. It's like if you're going to project all this hate towards somebody out into the universe, then that's what you're going to get back. And people are surprised when that comes back to them, but the universe is like, well, that's what you put out there. I mean, we're just giving, isn't this what you want? Right? It's like the universe is just very, it's like one track minded, right? Think about it that way. And it's the same with this manifestation. Just make sure you're putting out into the universe what you want to get back from the universe. The assistance you want from the universe to come back to you, make sure you're putting that out. Okay, what do we have at the third eye? Third eye position, please. Devil Capricorn. That, that popped out a minute ago, too. Yeah, okay. Cap, you need to be careful right now because this is your third eye position, okay? So this is how you're perceiving your outward environment or how your outward environment around you is during this period of manifestation. You are surrounded by a lot of devilish people, my friend. A lot of jealousy, a lot of envy. A lot of people do not want you to bring this in for yourself, okay? So again, don't give these energies, any audience, okay? Don't even give them the time of day. Just finish doing what it is you're doing, okay? Keep to yourself. Don't allow any energies to come in and taint this for you. Devil, Capricorn energy, right there at the third eye. Whew, I just saw the Ten of Cups. Okay, I'm going to keep going. I got to put those back. Okay. Excellent. King of Cups right there at the crown. So your crown is all related to your spirituality. This is your connection with the divine, otherwise known as your intuition, right? Messages from the divine come through your intuition, guys. So the King of Cups is a supportive leader. It's a energy of empathy. Okay, so this is the energy that the divine wants you to stay in while you're pulling this through. And just because you have empathy, right, towards others, doesn't mean you need to entertain them. In fact, you're doing them a favor and you're being more empathetic towards them if you create distance and boundaries because you're giving them something that they can learn from, right? They're thinking, well, why is Cappy creating all these boundaries around me? Maybe I need to look at myself in the mirror. And chances are, Cappy, they probably won't because I'm picking up a narcissistic energy here and narcissists never change, but that still shouldn't affect how you stand. You standing solid, right, in yourself 
is you being empathetic. Okay, so King of Cups at the crown. Okay, let's switch to the Lakota Tarot, see what demons have been trying to block my Cappy's uh, root chakra here. All right, what do we have at the, the foundation? King of Swords. Okay, so with this King of Swords, this is like King of Swords in reverse. So this is a like a con man. This is a very corrupt energy. This is an energy here that I feel like was trying to hoodwink and bamboozle you or wants to hoodwink and bamboozle you. Maybe they were able to pull this off in the past, but you've created this, let's just say, empathetic boundary. Okay, King of Cups at the crown because you're starting to understand how this works, right? So you're not entertaining this Knight of Swords in reverse energy at the heart, right? This energy that just wants to come through and with their deliberate cruelty, very violent energy. You're not allowing that, right? So this King of Swords energy, this is what was keeping you blocked, let's say, before you stepped into this energy at the foundation. So this was actually affecting your stability. Maybe... You weren't able to like get a get a home. Maybe it's a rental, or maybe they messed up your credit so you couldn't uh, get the credit to get on a rental application, or maybe you couldn't get the money to buy yourself a home. Something like this. But whatever it was here, it was keeping you blocked. Okay, what do we have at the sacral? Queen of Pentacles at the sacral so this is like queen of pentacles in reverse so this is a very cold rigid unkind dishonest person right so there was something about the oh okay you know what it was this person here they were projecting self-doubt onto you right which was keeping your creativity blocked so maybe you were working on something you were being creative and it was really good but they lie to you and tell you oh, it's okay it's not that great you know whatever you know, and then they say, they try to distract you with something else. Like, hey, why don't we go and do blah, blah, blah. Right? They, like, take the focus off of what it is you're working on to make it seem like it's just very insignificant. That's what this energy here was doing. Right? Even though they damn well knew that what you were working on could bring you tremendous success and stability. Nine of Cups at the foundation. Okay? What do we have at the solar plexus, please? death lucifer okay so right there at the solar plexus so this is going to be like um the death card in reverse which is related to scorpio this is an energy of stagnation right it's an energy of feeling stuck right it's but it's somebody who painted themselves that would do this to you they would stagnate you but they painted themselves like a sweet little cherub look very sweet but when it goes home it's sitting on a pile of skulls Right, look at it. Just sitting there. It's killed all those skulls. Those are all the people that it stagnated. Right? So it's like out in public, it's just a sweet little cherub, right? You would never ever expect it would project this horrendous energy onto the world. But then it goes home and it zips off that little cherub suit and it's the size of Leviathan, a big slimy demon, right? So this is somebody who has done this to many people. This is what they do. This is like their purpose in life is to hold people back, right? They incite jealousy and envy right? So death card in reverse, again, an energy of stagnation, right? It's an energy of being stuck. Okay. What do we have? Actually, let's pull from the heaven and hell tarot. So this is a mixture of the occult tarot, the demon cards, and the uh, angel tarot here. So this is going to bridge us into the uh, angel tarot. Okay. What do we have at the heart position, please? Heart position, please. What do my cappies have at the heart, please? So we have Salios from the Demon Tarot, Forgetting. And then we have Leo Vea, Fruition, from the Angel Tarot. So both of these cards represent Two of Cups, okay? So basically, what this is here, so this is an energy of, um, with this with this Salios energy, this is an energy of uh, 
arguments. It's a very disinterested energy, okay? It's an energy of separations and breakups. And then with this Two of Cups, this is an energy of you having new proposals coming through. It could be romantic, but it doesn't have to be. It's just an energy of you having opportunities come through to you. So this is an energy here that you've overcome, okay, that wanted you to be forgotten, Cappy. It wanted you to basically... They wanted you to feel like you were insignificant in this world, right? That nothing you ever do would ever come to fruition and allow for new proposals to come through for you, right? They didn't want you to step into your purpose. This is what this is all about. So this is the energy you have now overcome, and you're now moving forward into this energy of accepting and receiving proposals. Okay, so now let's switch to the... Angel Tarot and pull on the throat position here. What do we have at the throat, please, from the Angel Tarot? Two of Swords at the throat. Okay, so this is um, an energy of you making a decision, right? It's an energy of compromising, right? But it's it's not compromising with this energy. It's compromising with your values, okay? So... Here the divine is giving you this ace of pentacles, right? Allowing you this opportunity. But what you're having to do here is create these empathetic boundaries like we were talking about, right? King of cups at the crown. Not allowing these energies to come through. So this is something that I feel is very difficult because I feel these people were very close to you and this is difficult for all of us when we're... Look, when we're stepping our, into our purposes, most all of us are going to have to go through this, okay? We have to create some sort of boundaries, um, if not complete cutoffs from people so we can fully step into our power, right? Because you need to protect your energy. This is something you're starting to understand now, okay? And you're making the decision to move forward through this energy because you see what all of this actually brought to you. It brought you stagnation. It, caught, it brought you a feeling of being stuck, right? Inertia. Okay, what do we have at the third eye? Strength, wow. See, this is all about this self-love, right? It's like this self-respect and it's courage, right? Over this devil energy that's all around you right now. So the way that you overcome this and literally beat this is by not allowing it any space in your energetic environment to spread its toxic spew, Cappy. It's really that simple, okay? And by doing this, it sends an energetic signal out there, right? To this energy that you know who they are. You know what they're all about. And it just really sends this energy running with its tail between its legs because once you've spotted the devil, he leaves. He doesn't stick around, okay? Because the devil is a coward, period. Okay, what do we have for the crown? the chariot right there at the crown, okay? So this is this energy of action and change, right? It's an energy of you stepping into your purpose and understanding exactly how it's done because I feel like you've been trying to do this for a while and you finally realize that it was the energies around you that were keeping you stuck and you're not allowing this moving forward, the chariot, right? Perseverance, success in conflict, overcoming adversity. All right, Cappy, I'm going to leave it there. I'm wishing you guys all the best. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like personal reading, all that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, Cappy. Take care.